Hey everybody, so I'm just making a quick video today and what I wanted to talk about was trailing 12 months. Now you may have heard this before or maybe you've never heard of it or maybe you already know what it is. So trailing 12 months is basically the concept that we're always looking at earnings or revenue or whatever in a 12 month time span. So the best way for me to explain this is just to get right into an example. Now, imagine that we have the full um, year of 2022 and um, this company gave us earnings per share for every single quarter. Now, uh, Q1 is $3 earnings per share, Q2 is $4, Q3 is five, and Q4 is six. So what is our total earnings per share for 2022? Well, we could calculate that. So our total is $18 um, earnings per share. Now what happens if we go into the next year and for Q1, they report $7? What is our trailing 12 months? Well, like I said before, we're always looking in a 12 month time span. So we actually end up looking at these numbers right here. And this old Q1 gets kicked out of the mix. So um, let's just calculate the new trailing 12 months. So we'll do sum one, two, three, four. And now we have 22 as our uh, new earnings per share. Now, let's say in the new year for Q2, we have eight. Well, what happens here? Same thing. We take the um, 12 months right here, and then we apply it. So how is this useful? Well, sometimes a company is going to give you um, earnings per share guidance. So when you're listening to that earnings call or you're looking through the financial statements or whatever, they give you a EPS number for the next quarter. And then what you can do is you could plug that in and you could calculate the trailing 12 months and you could calculate um, what the PE ratio is at any given time uh, based off of that future um, trailing 12 months EPS that you have. So I hope this um, video was helpful and as usual, have a good one.